Hi my dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Asha SP from PG Department of Commerce. We are on the last portion of Income Tax Planning and Management at last we reached. We are on the last module. This module deals with the term International Transaction Taxation and some basic concepts relating to international taxation so what is international taxation it is a it is a study or determination of tax on a person or business subject to the tax laws of different countries so pala different pala countries in their tax laws or a particular business in there or a person in your business like uh, i have the income compute to check and edit go on and on the girl our process in the animal international taxation the building in the here an important concept in that is foreign income of resident in india number indian uh, resident in the indian income in the purview in the no one on the girl i'll link it Resident, who is a resident, one who satisfies any one of the basic condition is known as a resident. A resident is liable to pay tax on foreign income as well as Indian income in India. Upper on a subject. That means when a person become or an SSE become resident, he is liable to pay tax on foreign income as well as Indian income on India. For foreign income, then foreign tax are like that. Indian tax are like that. When he become a resident, in Indian income, then Indian tax are like that. Apo, either any one avoid cheya. Alangile, either or other tax liability any one korkya. So for this purpose, the government of India has entered into an agreement with the foreign countries in order to avoid double taxation. Apo, idine, idine be indeed, the government has been entered into an agreement with other foreign countries in order to uh, reduce, like in order to avoid this double taxation. Concepts. And for this purpose, various tools have been uh, used by the government. Like various concepts have been used by the government. The concepts are double taxation relief, double taxation avoidance or double taxation avoidance agreement and unilateral relief. About these three concepts are double taxation avoidance. In our chapter, we will deal with these three things. So, for the purpose of avoiding tax uh, on foreign country in India, the government of India has been entered into an agreement with the foreign country. So, for this, uh, these three concepts originated. So, in the next class, we will discuss these three concepts. Discuss here. Yeah. So that's all about with today's session of international taxation. This is Asha SP signing off from Bosco Campus Vision.